from down here, this looks absolutely insane. <laughs> I've never actually sat on the floor and looked up like this before. Whoa, first time for everything. Like, look how insane that looks. Hey everybody, what's going on? Speedy Diver here, and this is my new 2018 gaming room setup video. As you can see, this gaming room has changed dramatically from 2017 to 2018. First thing, obviously, many of you can see is the new gaming PC. My first ever gaming PC, and I am so blessed to have one of these. Also, new gaming desk. Oh yeah, it's it's a regular desk, but I'm considering it a gaming desk, like being with all this stuff on top of it. Yeah, it's a gaming desk. It's a giant L desk that I was so, so happy to get. I've been wanting one of these ever since I've been gaming years and years ago, and I finally saved up enough money to get one, and I finally made enough room to put it in here, because this is a very, very tiny room, as many of you know. So let's do a 360 really quick of what this room will looks like. Currently have like a sheet hanging there and whatnot. So this is what this room looks like. It is an insanely cool room. I just got these new bookshelves. That's what I've been waiting for so I can make this 2018 ultimate gaming room setup video. Also ended up getting a new light. Look at this. Woo! That thing is freaking cool. It is a halo light. This light gives a really cool effect since it is a round uh, fluorescent light bulb and it actually makes a really nice even lighting. I think we should start over here and make our way around the desk. So the, everything you guys see in this video is going to be linked in the description below because I've most likely done an unboxing on everything within this video like the gaming chair, the gaming PC. Uh, I didn't do an unboxing of the TV. That was one thing I didn't. Uh, both the controllers. My sister did the the unboxing of this one so if you guys want to check that out it was a cool video and just tons of different stuff I ended up getting a new uh, Himalaya salt lamp that my parents got me which is nice this one changes color oh I'm just I'm so happy to show you guys what I actually have like what's new to the gaming setup so making our way over to the left I kind of have this big pile I just want to get this out of the way first this is a big pile of just random stuff where I just don't know where to put it it's just a lot of stuff like I have monthly subscription boxes that I've unboxed and stuff and I just kind of have this I'm sitting here for now. Uh, there's like some other things that I found, like uh, the Evil Within 2, got the uh, Wolfenstein 2 boxes, which I think look pretty cool, like stacked up like that. Also, the YouTube play button, a hundred thousand subscribers and I thank you guys so much for that we're gonna be hitting one mil soon guys can we get to one million subscribers that will be the biggest milestone for anybody like a million subscribers just imagine I'm gonna be freaking out <laughs> but uh, either way as you can see there is just so much that's new to this gaming room and I just oh I'm so excited like the desk is just amazing it is oh it's super duper cool I'm like jumping up and down because I'm so happy but uh, over here this is just like the giant mess of mishmashy stuff this is actually the light that I put on top of my camera for uh, nighttime videos if you guys are wondering also have this little like uh, remote that controls this light bulb right here so I can make it like green red I usually keep it on pink because I think it gives like a is that pink? I think that's pink. Yeah, it gives it like a nice cool effect. I don't know, I just like it. I have my stand here as well for making videos, my little uh, tripod, so it's a decent tripod. Uh, I just have a bunch of boxes and random stuff. So if we start over here, I have my microphone. This I've made a video on as well. I'll leave links in the description like I said. This is my CAD U37. It's not a professional microphone. It's like one of the cheapest ones on Amazon, but I haven't had any problems with it. I think it sounds really good for my gaming channel. So uh, make sure you guys check out the gaming channel as well. Link in the description. There is the stand, which is like a basic like $12 stand, super simple. Got a little uh, stand here as well for my headset. The headset that I have is a uh, Turtle Beach X12s, I believe. These were for the 360, but I converted them over to the Xbox One. So I, I've always liked this headset, so I stayed with it. Got the Himalaya salt lamp back there, which stays the same color. There's actually a couple things that are pretty interesting about these Himalaya salt lamps. Like this one is kind of hidden back there, but I think it gives a really cool lighting effect. And uh, so I have that one, I have this one. The thing that's really cool about them is first of all, they just look cool I mean hey they, they look pretty awesome and second of all they're supposed to like put ions in the air which are good for you it makes you feel better makes you more relaxed less stressed and if you guys know this is my gaming room and slash office I do all my editing on this PC which is a beast this is the Skytech Omega gaming PC link in the description go check it out I'll even leave a link to their website because this PC is that freaking good this is the best thing that has ever happened to the gaming room setup by far it's better than the desk I, I, and I love this desk it is is better than the desk. So making our way back over here, I have the notepad. Now this notepad 
may seem just like a regular notepad because it is. But the thing that's really special about this one is this is where I write all my YouTube video ideas in this notepad. So if I have a new idea, like a new gaming video idea, or just a new video in general, I will write it down on here with this special pen. And what's special about this is because my sister gave it to me. I'm a very family-oriented person, so I seriously love my family, and whatever they get me is always very sentimental. This pen is pretty cool. It's like a tactical, like, pen, and uh, my sister gave it to me. Uh, so I think that's really cool. I use that to write down notes. I also have a backup pen as well that's a different color so I can like circle stuff in different colors because that's helpful obviously uh, also over here got the TCL which you guys can't see it but it is a TCL 4k TV which is I believe 40 inches or something could be 40 something inches maybe 49 inches I'm not too sure this TV I've had for about a year now and I absolutely love it like the 4k looks absolutely insane it just looks really, really nice. And this TV is hooked up to the Xbox One X Project Scorpio. This is by far the best console I have had. I am looking into getting a PS4, so all you PS4 lovers, I'm getting one soon. Got a couple other things up here as well. Like There's like a PUBG guy back here. We got a Call of Duty World War II hat with the lanyard with the pin. There's also like this industrial light that I just kind of have chill in here for extra lighting. The one thing I really do like about this whole setup is you don't see a single cable. There are no cables inside. Site. The cables are back here. This is where the cable management is absolutely atrocious. That's the thing though, you really don't have to worry about cable management. See, the reason I love this big TV is first of all it's awesome and second of all it hides all the cables. All the cables are down below. You can kind of see them hanging down there. Next thing I want to talk about are the controllers. There is a controller here which is my sister's and also my controller as well. She does occasionally play some uh, games on my Xbox and whatnot so she has her own controller here. And and uh, hers is really nice. These controllers are actually made from Controller Chaos. They were custom controllers. Hers says love to game and it has love on it. Mine says speedy gamer and also on the back says speedy. Super duper awesome custom controllers. And this is just a regular Microsoft uh, Xbox controller. That's all it is. But it's still really cool because it has those neon like uh, thumbsticks which I think is really cool. I got a little dusting broom here because I occasionally dust because it does these things hold a lot of dust. Uh, if you guys don't know about these soundproofing tiles, one thing they do not tell you when you buy them they do trap in a lot of dust so that is one thing to take in consideration if you do think about buying these but uh, they are really cool they really do help my voice doesn't echo as much and bounce off the wall it kind of absorbs my voice so it sounds better going down this way we have a head hugger which I thought was pretty cool just kind of had them displayed the Xbox One X Scorpio which is still a beast the Himalaya salt lamp this is if you guys were wondering that is to pretty much take the dust out of the air which it does work very well but obviously Obviously, you can't trap every little ounce of dust. So over in this area, if you guys can hear a little bit of humming, it is coming from the PC. So the PC does run four fans, and it also has liquid cooling, so that's what the sound is. Also up here, I have a portable charger or a power bank, which I use a lot actually, which is really nice. Also a picture that my sister drew from Slender Man, which came out really good. Also Speedy Diver works here, my parents got that for me, really like that. Like, like I said guys, I'm very family oriented, so I love getting stuff from my family, and it just it means a lot like this right here I got this from my sister it's like it's a piece of soap but it's so cool looking it's like soap I don't know I just I thought it was very cool it's like clear and like uh, turquoise kind of soap looking thing so I stuck it up there and I thought it was pretty cool looking also got some Digimon because I love Digimon going over this ways I have this Sony TV and this is hooked up to the PC currently running Medieval Engineers which is a very good game I do highly recommend it but uh, the TV obviously is not a monitor so it's not recommended to use a TV for a PC. It just doesn't work good. As you can see how blurry it is, it is not clear. It has a lot of screen tearing and it's just, it's not a very good monitor. This is something I want to make a video on to upgrade. I'm hopefully getting a better monitor soon because this one, I do like the 32 inches though. That I like for a monitor because obviously I like playing on bigger TVs and monitors and stuff. So that'll be an upgrade soon, getting a new monitor. This is currently a Sony Bravia TV that is currently like pfft, stinky TV. Next thing I want to talk about has to be the PC. Also, hello guys, you can kind of see my body, but uh, either way, this thing is seriously a beast. This PC is made from a company called Skytech Gaming, and this version of the PC is the Omega, and it seriously lives up to its name. This thing has a Intel Core i7-8700K Intel Core processor, 1080 Ti, the graphics card, which is insanity. It is liquid-cooled. It has four fans. They are 
uh, red LED. They are not RGB. They're just LED. Has a red LED over here. It may look orange on video, but trust me, it's red. It has a two, I believe, a 240 gigabyte SSD and also a two terabyte hard drive in the back of it because the cable management on this is insanely nice and it just looks super clean with the setup. It also has 16 gigs of RAM and it is just running like a beast. It also comes in a really nice case. I love the case because it's seriously just like press of a button, you pull it down. The tempered glass is actually like uh, tinted, which is really cool. I've never seen that on like a, uh, a gaming PC before. It's in an Inwin 303 case. I believe that's what it's called. And it is just a beast. And the reason I love the case is because it matches my gaming chair. The gaming chair is a Vertigear PL6000, I believe. And it is, this is like the, pretty much the XL version of their models. And it fits me very well because I'm a very tall person. I'm roughly 6'2". The neck pillow is very, very cushiony. The uh, lumbar support is extremely nice. I I got the white and black version because I think that's more of a classy look and it matches the PC and with the black TVs just looks really, really nice. Also, what I have running right now for my gaming keyboard and my mouse is kind of like a generic setup in a way. I am running the Aki. I don't know the model at all, but it's just an Aki keyboard. It is RGB, very hard to see with the uh, studio lighting. So if I shut the studio lighting off a little bit, you guys can kind of see the RGB. It is a mechanical keyboard, so it has that like typewriter sound, which I am I adore that. I love that it's so soothing that sound i don't know why i love it also running a like a 12 dollars amazon wireless mouse because i like wireless but uh, i don't do any heavy gaming so that's why i really don't uh, have the best of the best when it comes to like keyboard or mouse with the pc is seriously like best of the best this thing is by far the best thing that has happened to the gaming setup i also have a candle over there because if you guys know I, I love candles now we have this this is a bluetooth sylvania um, pretty much speaker. That's all it is. It got it like really cheap and it's really cool. I do like it. I have my laptop over here as well, which is an HP. It has like an i5 seventh generation, uh, like a terabyte hard drive. I think maybe four or eight gigs of RAM. It's a very good laptop. Like if I have to go out and I have to edit like a video, that laptop is definitely a go-to laptop. It is, it's never disappointed. Really good laptop. Also have more studio lighting over here as well as right here. This thing is just, oh, it's so new. I just got it like a couple days ago. So I'm super happy about this. Just holding it up with some, uh, some rope, <laughs> but it works. If it works, it's not stupid, guys. If it works, it works. There's also another light over here which kind of shines down. I don't like that one as much because it's more of like a natural daylight and I like the more white color, but uh, either way, still good. So I got three lights, one there, one here, and one there. The soundproofing foam, which is super duper cool. This shelf pretty much has a bunch of different things. Got some zombies over there from The Walking Dead. Uh, not too sure where he's from. I just, I kind of have him. I don't know where he came from, but uh, I <laughs> also have the Hope County, which is from Far Cry 5. Currently like the biggest game right now as of me making this video. Got a couple other things in here as well. Have a couple Skylanders down here, which I thought looked really cool. These are like my favorite Skylanders. So I'm just gonna do a run through from the bottom to the top of what the gaming shelf looks like. That is shelf number uno. And now this is shelf number two. I have an Xbox One box in there as well. And I still have some more space. Like I have some space there, some space up here. If you guys remember from the last 2017 Ultimate Gaming Room setup, this thing, this carpet, ah, oh, it's so soft. I absolutely love it. This is like the softest, like little like carpet thing. I don't even know what you call it. I just love it. It is super duper soft. Making our way over here, if I move this gaming chair out of the way, we have this really cool World of Warcraft metal display. And this is currently holding all of my Xbox 360 games that I have kind of on it. Also some sleeves as well. Have a Far Cry 5 poster over there. It's like a cockpit of a jet. That's what it reminds me of. If we go over here into the draws, the first draw has some games in it, also rechargeable batteries, which, hey, you gotta have them. And uh, some more games, got a controller for the TV. In this one, this is like the miscellaneous draw. Uh, yeah, it's just really miscellaneous wires, got an extra battery floating back there. Uh, all my camera stuff, like this is to charge my battery. Uh, this is to charge my battery for my light. Uh, this is an extra battery. Uh, there's my unboxing knife. There's a lighter for the candle. There's also a couple, like Velcro. There's a couple other things in here. Rubber band, gotta have that rubber band. And uh, down in here, this is a bunch of stuff like future video idea. I wanna make this into like the ultimate gaming controller. There's just a bunch of different things. Uh, I got another notebook here as well. A charger for my laptop. This for uh, to make my wireless Xbox One controller wired. So under the desk is a very interesting kind of uh, concept, what I went with. 
I'm not too sure if I'm going to keep it this way, but I kind of like it the way it is. Uh, the one thing that I do like is that you don't see a single wire besides that one right there that goes to the little heater. It is a little heater. It's a very nice little heater. I absolutely love it when my feet get cold. Yeah, it lights up like a little fireplace. That thing is so cool. I thought it looked kind of cool having all those consoles like that. Not too sure if I'm going to keep it that way, but it definitely adds a different, like, a different feeling of the way it looks, and I think it looks pretty neat. I, I like the black and the white concept. That's what I'm going for, and I think it looks really good. This is a gaming setup that I've always wanted ever since I was younger, ever since I've started gaming, and it's just, I'm so blessed to actually be able to say that this is mine, and it, I'm just so happy for it. And I thank all of you who watch my videos and support me as a YouTube creator, because without you guys, a lot of this wouldn't be possible. I absolutely love making videos like this, and it just, it puts a huge smile on my face, and there's one more thing I need to show you guys. Woo! Right down here. Let's get into this. This is currently where I have a couple consoles. <laughs> Not a couple, there's about four. Damn! That is really cool. That's so futuristic looking. I want to thank you guys one more time for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy, and if you are interested in last year's video of the Ultimate Gaming Room setup, you can watch it over here. The most recommended video over here. Subscribe to the Speedy Gamer, my gaming channel, and subscribe to the Speedy Diver. So this is my Ultimate Gaming Room setup for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed, and there are a couple more improvements I want to do to it, like the new monitor. There's going to be new things. Maybe a new gaming chair? soon to come, maybe, hint hint, but uh, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch all of you on the flip side.